Well, traders, I'm done for the day. I'm down $11,000, as you can see here, and I'm not going to continue trading. You know, I was looking at my account today and I was saying, well, gosh, I've got so many green days. <laughs> When's the end of it? Well, the end of it is today. And um, you just can't keep uh, having green days uh, without some red days. And uh, that's one of them. So as you can see here, everything is red for me today, just like everything. I mean, the only winner I had really is NVAX when I called it over 105. So take a look at NVAX here. That was a beautiful trade over here in uh, 105. Not the kind of trade I usually take because usually I'm taking uh, shorts in stocks that are down like 10%. But NVAX proved to me it wants to move higher. As you can see here, it started with a big gap down, just moved down, therefore no way to short it as it was moving down right from the gate. There's, you just can't do much about that. You can't uh, just short it um, as it gaps down because you need to wait first for a move up, which did not come. So I had to wait for it to bounce back up, but then I noticed it was bouncing up too much which means that it wants to continue moving higher that's when I took my long at 105 my mistake was taking this short here at 105 later and that was a bigger loser than my previous winner so a nice green trade in NVAX turned to be a $1,700 loser so I've got a loser in NVAX JP Morgan came down from the highs it was strong I thought it's going to probably pull back and move higher. I was wrong. I uh, took a long here at uh, 101. Uh, initially, it moved up almost 30 cents. That wasn't enough. I was looking for 50 and uh, it came down at the 30 cent stop loss. So JP, Ma JP Morgan was a relatively small loser. Another loser I had, again, quite small, as you can see from my results, for me anyway, is Tiffany's. Tiffany's was uh, started with a gap down just over 2%. It was kind of strange behavior, but 122 whole number looked like a good short. Initially, it did move down like 30 cents, not much. And then I had approximately a 30 cent stop loss. Another loser. Keep counting the losers. Uh, Roku under 146. Amazing daily. Uh, Yogi pointed this one uh, out for us and if you take a look at Roku it's probably going to continue coming down but it just didn't work as an intraday trade if you take a look at the daily of Roku you can see that the daily of Roku looks like a absolutely amazing short here's the daily of Roku look at this consolidation here I mean it didn't quite make it it didn't quite break down it still have some support but the intraday of uh, Roku suggested it's going to come down it was the right decision to make Although the result, of course, just didn't work out. So <laughs> four green trades, four red trades, and uh, reached my stop loss, max stop loss, which is around 10K for me, something like that. Anyway, um, my first red day for a while. Thank you very much for participating. Sorry I couldn't help you much. It's a red day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200-page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.